Student loan debt is some of the hardest debt to get away from if you're not paying it back. America's total student loan debt is now around $1.5 trillion. It's really important to think about what the job is you might hold in the future and to think about the salary and income realistically and say, is this truly something that will allow me to pay off my student loans? If your debt at graduation is less than your first year's salary, then you have a pretty good shot at paying it off over the next 10 years or even less. But if your debt at graduation is greater than that first year salary, it could take you upwards of 20 years to pay it off. It's not some massive benefit that you get, but you can deduct some of your student loan payments and you should talk to an accountant or look at your tax software and see how you can make those deductions because if you're not taking them and you're making massive loan payments, you're probably leaving some money on the table that you could be getting back. One of the biggest mistakes young people make is putting too much towards their debt repayment and not enough towards their retirement savings account. So let me give you an example. If you start putting $100 a month into your retirement account when you're 22 and keep that up for the next 10 years until you're 32, you should have saved about $174,000 by the time you retire. But if you wait until you're 32 to start putting money into the retirement account and you put in $100 every month until you're 65, which means you've put in three times as much money as if you'd had started early, you would only have saved about $155,000. So ultimately, you could put in three times as much money, start later, and still have less money in that retirement account when you retire than if you start early. So it really does pay to start earlier, and it really does pay not to focus only on your debt and to make sure, especially if you work at a company that has a matching program, to put in the minimum amount to at least get that money.